No? I once called it the most important shape for a guitar and it is so rudimentary to the physics of the guitar from scales to chords to, to boxes and patterns which is the whole philosophy behind my guitar course next level playing by the way but how do pro guitarists use triads so here's five great and creative ways to use triads and let's start out with a funny one I like to call the Sesame Street trick and you'll know why in just a little bit. So for this method, we decorate our major chord, our major triad, with other triads, basically. Creating an awesome rock or blues rhythm guitar part that we hear everywhere. So before we get to the Sesame Street thing, the easiest way to explain it is just like this. We play an A major chord like this, and we embellish it with a sort of a D major triad, actually. And we play that with four on D, two on G, and three on B. And it sounds lovely. It's just a small decoration, a small movement inside the chord. And you can do that with every chord, actually. Uh, it sounds particularly great using the four chord. So let's say you want to decorate the G major chord. We can decorate it by playing the C. G, A, B, C. Just the notes up. So... Lovely sound, lovely sound. So because this fits so well in a bluesy realm, it's a great way to play a 12 bar blues like this. to the Sesame Street because we can push it even further. We can add one more triad to the two triads we play in that one chord. We can add the five as well. So you don't have to know any theory to play this actually. It's super easy. You play the A chord, you play the D over the A chord, but now you slide the whole thing two frets up and you play an E over that same A chord. Just, just an A chord with little movement and it sounds like this. And I guess you know why we call it the Sesame Street trick now, because it sounds just like Sesame Street. Anyway, if you want to incorporate this into the 12 bar blues, it sounds particularly great. So listen. <laughs> tracks as well as the tabs are available on my Patreon page by the way. So that is awesome right? So before we get to some more exciting examples again, I guess this is actually the most important one. It is knowing all the triads and its inversions on the neck. So this allows you to play every chord progression you wish. Let's say G minor, D minor, F major and C major everywhere on the neck in so many different ways and positions. And it really opens up the fretboard and gives you so much insight into how these triads actually work. So the triad is just three essential notes from the chord and therefore we can play each triad in three different variations. We can put each of the notes on top or at the bottom, which gives us three different positions like the root position, the first inversion and the second inversion. So if you want to learn more about triads, how they are built, how to play them everywhere on the neck, how to use them for solos and so much more, I highly suggest checking out my guitar course, Next Level Playing. It's a carefully created guitar course, taking you through all the things that are important when learning guitar, from solos and techniques to chords and rhythm, and of course, some practical music theory. At the end of each of the seven modules we're going through, there's an awesome solo taking you through everything you've learned in that module from the workings of the cage system to the pentatonics, how to break out of the boxes. And we're looking into modes as well, like Dorian, Mixolydian, and how we can use them in our playing. And of course, triads, it's all in there. So please check it out at nextlevelplaying.com. And now let's just move on. Which is just 
on one chord, on just three strings. So imagine the possibilities going to four chords and using all the strings. Anyway, it gives you so much freedom. So this is just an example of how you can use it. just keeping it super basic uh, and this also ties beautifully into a thing we call a voice leading. It's where we link the individual notes of the chords together playing the smallest interval between the chords possible instead of like jumping up and down in chord. Like this would be an elegant way of changing between G minor and D minor. Sort of the same pitch like G minor and D minor instead of G minor and D minor. Not so cool. Very cool. <laughs> anyway, playing these triads like this brings us to the next thing we can do. And I already did a little bit and I call it the embellished arpeggio or the Frusciante trick. And because the triad is so dressed down, it's just the three essential notes from any chord, we can very easily add lovely embellishments to it since there's always one or more fingers doing nothing. And we played arpeggiated and also add a little hammer on in there. And because we know all the inversions, G minor, G minor, G minor, we can play it everywhere on the neck. So let's try the B, the G and the D string now and let's do a little embellish arpeggio. was playing the arpeggio of the chords and added a little hammer on on the highest strings. It's super easy but it has that classic sound we all love, right? So G minor over here. Just a little hammer on and back. So the next trick is gonna get edgy, is the use of pedal notes. So for this method, we're using a simple triad as a pedal note or pedal notes going through the entire chord progression. And it's such a lovely way to decorate the progression and keeping the chords somewhat linked together. So this is what we do. Let's say we've got a simple progression, um, F major, B flat, D minor, C. Simple one, four, six, five chord progression. And now we're playing the F triad as a pedal note, which means just playing it on indefinitely, not moving anything over all the chords. And this is how it sounds. Wait a second, this sounded nice, but we're not quite there yet because this works better if we turn the chord into a sus4 chord. So instead of the F we play, it's also a triad, but now it's an F sus4 triad. And then we can alternate a little bit between that major and the F sus4. And wait a second, we also need a delay by the way. sounds pretty epic. So let's see how it sounds.
Alright, next up, the last one. And this is a classic way to bluff the listener a little bit into thinking you're actually a great guitarist. It's what I do all the time. So it works, by the way. <laughs> anyway, it's sweeps. Sweep picking. Yes, sweep picking. And we're going to play it over the chord progression we played before. G minor, D minor, F and C. And we're gonna use triads and sweeps. Let's have a listen. <laughs> And that's the thing, it's just four mini sweeps, you're basically cheating a little bit, but even if you're not into sweeping or shredding, I'm sure everyone with a little bit of practice can get this down, because we're basically using just three strings and a little bit of sweeping magic. Okay, so the four triads, let's start out with G minor, it's just barring your index finger on the 15th fret all the way down on the first three strings. But the magic is in the sweep. So we sweep down from uh, the third to the second string, and then the pinky plays fret uh, 18 on that high E. And then we do a pull off, and then we start over again. So we only sweep down, and that's why it's so easy. And the first beat is on that pinky, so it's... That's the G minor chord with a little mini sweep. Now we go to D minor, and this is the triad we're playing. And again, we do that same pinky action. And now to F major, this is the triad. 14, 13, and 13 on the B and E. And then to C major, which is just try it. 12, 13, 12, and then we. So in total, the four chords. And with the band mixed in and a little bit more gain, it sounds like this. are the triads and they are truly amazing and I'd love to know some of your tricks do you have any uh, please let them know in the comment section we can all learn from them and share our knowledge together and of course gently squeeze that like button if you learned anything today that really helped me out massively and of course if you want to learn more about these triads a little bit of the theory behind it you can check out my guitar course that really takes you by the hand and show you everything you need to know to become a great guitarist learn practice play for beginners next level playing for the intermediate guitarist and those that are feeling a adventurous and loved acoustic guitar just as much as I do. Please check out Acoustic Adventure. All the links are below in the description box, so feel free to check them out. And I wish you a lovely day. Goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>